Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Manny Pacheco with Celebrating Act 2 and Forgotten Hollywood at the TCM Classic Film Festival 2022. And we're here with the iconic, legendary Hollywood royalty, George Stevens Jr. Boy, what an exciting uh, event this is. I don't think is. I've been called royalty before. That's very nice, Manny. <laughs> Thank you. Your father was quite an iconic director um, before World War II, during World War II, and of course after World War II. Uh, a, a different director before and after. Can you talk a little bit about your dad? Yeah, my father. Just I, I was blessed with a wonderful father who happened to be a great director, but more importantly was, a, for me, a great father. And uh, he inspired me, and as you see in this book, um, at a certain time in my life, uh, I was faced with a decision to go in a different direction. And he, at a considerable sacrifice to himself, suggested I take the other path. Wow. You know. Let me ask you about some of the movies he made. Of course, prior to World War II, Woman of the Year, The More the Merrier, after World War II, A Place in the Sun, The Diary of Anne Frank, of course, Giant. Uh, different films. Uh, what, what changed him? Well, he just had, um, first of all, he, he had a diversity of interest. He never wanted to make the same film twice. And, uh, and after the war, you know, he'd been uh, in combat. He was in the first people in Dachau, that uh, uh, terrible experience. I mean, for the people who, uh, you know, who lost their lives there. And so there was a, a little deeper sense when he came back. But he still had the humor, the Laurel and Hardy, you know. Uh, we watched Giant last night, you know, with a full house and this big screen. And people, they kept coming through this book signing line. They'd never seen it on the big screen or at all. And there's this scene w w where the children feed the turkey out in the, and then they bring the turkey in at dinner and they, and they say, is that Pedro? To hear an audience laugh and howl, you know, it's just so much fun. You know, as a Latino, I can tell you that I am very proud of the work your father did on Giant in, in pointing out the segregation of Latinos, which was never, ever talked about. And he showcased and brought to light the the issue in Giant. I mean, that, that as a Latino, we consider him a pioneer. You know, 1956, with, there was hardly any treatment of race in the movies. And it's what makes Giant... Uh, such a contemporary film today because that theme is still alive in our public and the public mind so uh, yeah it was so important and and my father uh, made a lot of films about the outsider you know whether it was Catherine Hepburn the poor girl in Alice Adams or or Gunga Dean or Shane or George Eastman Montgomery Clift in A Place in the Sun or, or perhaps Jesus in the greatest story ever told. Let me ask you, I would be remiss if we didn't talk about your fine career and, of course, what you've done creating the American Film Institute, of course, the Kennedy Center Honors. Um, you are committed to preserving film and, of course, celebrating actors and, and, and the works of, of filmmakers. Exactly. Yeah, no, and you know, my father, <clears throat> a quick story, coming home from the Academy Awards. We, I went with him in 1951. And Joe Mankiewicz came out and read the nominees. I'm sitting with my father, uh, John Huston for the African Queen, uh, Vincent Minnelli for An American in Paris, William Wyler for The Desperate Hours, Elia Kazan for A Streetcar Named Desire, and George Stevens for A Place in the Sun. Well, of course, A Place in the Sun won. And driving home, the Oscar was on the seat between us. He was driving the car. And I was about 17 or 18 and kind of excited. And maybe he thought I was too excited. But I'll never forget, he looked over at me and he said, we'll have a better idea what kind of a film this is in about 25 years. You know, and he didn't know he was talking to the future head of the American Film Institute, but it was the idea of the test of time and that films are made to last, and the great ones. And um, he cared about that quality in his films. 
that they would stand the test of time. And the Turner Classic Film Festival celebrates that test of time. Exactly, exactly. Such a great thing. Well, thank you, George Stevens, Jr. I'm Manny Pacheco with Forgotten Hollywood and Celebrating Act Two. We're here at the TCM Classic Film Festival, the iconic George Stevens, Jr. Thank you so much. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.